Hello everyone. Today we're going to talk about how to run the Stable Diffusion software on a Windows computer. You might be wondering what is Stable Diffusion? It's an artificial intelligence software that creates images from text. It's 100% free, open source, it's written in Python, and it's magical. What else more can we ask for, right? Let's get started. So first thing first, let's talk about hardware requirements. As of today, we can run the Stable Diffusion software only on NVIDIA GPUs, so graphic card. The software will not work on AMD graphic cards. The minimum requirements for your graphic card is 4 GB. So if you have a graphic card that's less than 4 GB of video RAM, then unfortunately you cannot run it at this time. And let's dive right in how to run the Stable Diffusion software on Windows computer. So first, let's go to the official GitHub page. And as you can see, they suggest that we use a Conda environment. There's a very good reason for that, which we'll talk about later on. So let's go to the Anaconda official website and download the installer to install Anaconda. While Anaconda is downloading, let's go to the projects page on Hugging Face to download their model weight. So you will need to register an account and log in to Hugging Face to download this model weight. I will also leave the link to the model weight in the video description below. And this is the weights file we need to use, SDV1 for checkpoint. And this file is 4 gigabytes in size, so it's going to take a while. Let's move on to the next step. We're going to get the source code for Stable Diffusion. And there are two versions. We're going to get both and you'll see why. Let's first head to the official version. And this is their GitHub page. Note this is by compviz. And here we just need to click on the green code button and download zip. Then that's going to download the source code in a zip file. Once the download is complete, unzip it to the drive. And I'm going to put it in a folder called Stable Diffusion. So this is the source code for the official Stable Diffusion. All right. Next, let's download the optimized version. The author name is Basu Jindo. So this one is essentially a copy of the official version except that the other made a few tweaks to make the program run on a less powerful GPU. If you have a four gigabytes video card, then you might want to use this optimized version to run Stable Diffusion. Again, to download the code, just click on this code button and then click on download zip. And we have to be careful here because the official version and the optimized version, they have the same file name. Just make sure that you know which one is the official versus the optimized. I know that I download the official first, so this is the official version, and then the one with a later timestamp, this is the optimized version. Open up the optimized version, and we should see there is optimized SD folder inside this optimized version. Because all the other files are pretty much the same, so we don't really need to do anything with the other files. All we need to do is copy and paste this optimized SD folder into the official folder that we just extracted. Now we have the source code, and our Anaconda installer just finished. Let's go install Anaconda. And because I already have a Python version 3.9 installed on my computer, and I don't want Anaconda to mess with my global Python settings, so that's why I uncheck these boxes during installation. Okay, so now Anaconda installation is also done. So next step, we're going to build the Conda environment, which is pretty much a Python virtual environment. And we're going to use the command on the official Stable Diffusion GitHub page, which is Conda env create f environment yaml. This environment yaml file can be found in the source code folder that we downloaded. So let's open up Anaconda prompt and go into the Stable Diffusion folder. Note the CD means change directory. So this will take us to the folder and we're going to copy this line and paste it in there. So now Conda is going to take a look what's in the environment.yaml file and then build the virtual environment using all the requirements and dependencies from that file. It's kind of like the pip requirements.txt file. So as you can see, there are a bunch of libraries are being installed and this will take some time because there are some large ones that we need to use. For example, this one, PyTorch, which is 1.23 gigabyte. So I'm gonna speed up the video so you guys don't have to wait. And after we get the PyTorch file, Conda is downloading the CUDA toolkit. This is the reason that we're using Conda instead of the PIB, because CUDA is a software developed by NVIDIA that allows other software to basically directly control the graphic card for parallel computation. And CUDA is actually not a Python library, so it's not on the PyPy index. Whatever libraries on the PyPy index, you can use pip install to install them. 
So this is the reason that we don't want to use pip to set up the environment because uh, we'll have to jump through a few hoops to do that. And using Conda, it's much easier. So I'm going to speed up the video again because just the setting up Conda environment took something like 20 minutes. Okay, so that's done. So let's activate this Conda environment called LDM. And now our stable diffusion model waits file also finished downloading. So we're going to copy this command. It will create a folder called stable-diffusion-v1 under the folder models slash LDM because that folder stable diffusion v1 is not inside that folder yet. And we're going to create that. And so here we just need to use the backslash. And now if we go to that folder models LDM, uh, we'll be able to see the stable dash diffusion dash v1 subfolder in there. And right now this folder is empty. And we're going to move the model weights file into that folder we just created. So copy and paste to here. And we also need to rename this model weights file from sdv14 to uh, just simply model.checkpoint. So that's all the setup that we need to do. And now let's try to run a stable diffusion. Let's just try using the command on their GitHub page. And this command is basically going to run the text to image script in this folder with a few arguments. So the dash dash prompt, that's the description that we provide to stable diffusion. So this is kind of we're trying to describe what kind of image we want stable diffusion to create for us. And in this example here, it's a photograph of an astronaut riding a horse. Hit enter and it's going to run the model. And we see that we got an error saying CUDA out of memory. So this is normal because when the creators of stable diffusion build software, they were using some GPUs are much more powerful than the consumer grade GPUs. So that's why a 10 gigabyte GPU cannot run stable diffusion on the default settings. And that's why we need to make a few tweaks. So the first tweak that we're going to try is instead of running the official code, we're going to run the optimized text to image script. And here we're just monitoring the VDRAM usage. As you can see, it kind of peaks around four gigabytes. So this is how you would be able to run stable diffusion on a graphic card that only has four gigabytes of VDRAM. And of course, because we're using less RAM to run the program, so it's going to take longer. But hey, the program runs and check the results. It's going to be in this output folder. And these are the images that this AI program generated for us based on our description. And I'm going to show you a second way of running the stable diffusion software. This is for those with a higher end GPU, something like an RTX 3080. We're going to open up the text to image script. Note, this is the script that's from the official stable diffusion. Just scroll down a few rows and look for this function called load model from config right under model equal to instantiate from config right under that line type model.huff and note on the brackets. This is a function. Basically, it will reduce the VRAM usage significantly so that we'll be able to run it on our GPU using the official version. So this is not the optimized version. Let's save the file and try to run this again. So now we got another CUDA out of memory error message. And we just need to make one more change to be able to run on our 10 gigabyte GPU. In the text to image.py file and look for the end samples argument. So by default, this is generating three samples and that's going to take a lot of video RAM. So we can add an argument on the command line and we can set to in samples equal to two with the previous change model.half and then this in sample equal to two. We'll be able to run the official version with the default settings. Now let's try that. For this run, the GPU memory usage peaked around 9.8 gigabytes. So this run should run through no problem. And it worked. Before we end the video, let me show you guys a few of the samples that I was able to generate using the stable diffusion software. All right, that is all for this video. I'll see you in the next one.